First of all, this video is not just about the records, but an inspiration to all of us as we start complaining about hardships in life when we are faced with difficulties for just a few minutes or hours. Let's talk about the video now. Having a world record to someone's name is one of the highest achievements, and after all that's all we want in life, don't we? It's a far greater achievement when someone is 100 year old and gets a record named after him. That's what we are talking about in this video. In this video, Daddy Insider Team has come up with quite the offbeat world records where we would see people getting accolades in old age when most of the population during that time is just fighting to get through every day. So let's jump right in. At number 20 we have John Alfred Tenniswood, born on August 26, 1912, in Liverpool, England, holds the title of the world's oldest living man at the age of 111 years. His remarkable life spans significant historical milestones, including both World Wars, the Great Depression, and the technological revolution of the 20th and 21st centuries. Despite his advanced age, John remains surprisingly independent, performing many daily tasks such as managing his finances and staying informed about current events via the radio. He attributes his longevity to pure luck and emphasizes moderation in all aspects of life, avoiding excess in eating, drinking, and other activities. John is a lifelong supporter of Liverpool FC, witnessing the club's numerous victories over the decades. During World War II, he served in an administrative role for the Army Pay Corps, contributing to logistical tasks like locating stranded soldiers and organizing food supplies. After the war, he worked in accounts for major companies like Shell and BP until his retirement in 1972. John's enduring vitality and wisdom offer valuable insights into the possibilities of human longevity. Maria Branyas Moreira is at number 19, she was born on March 4, 1907, in San Francisco, USA, is recognized as the oldest living woman and the oldest living person overall, recently celebrating her 117th birthday. Her life story is a testament to resilience and adaptability, having lived through three centuries marked by profound social, political, and technological changes. Maria moved to Spain as a child and has witnessed significant historical events, including the Spanish Civil War, both World Wars, and the Digital Age. Despite her advanced age, Maria maintains a sharp mind and shares her experiences and wisdom through social media, managed by her family. She attributes her longevity to a positive outlook, staying active, and maintaining strong social connections. Maria's remarkable age highlights the dignity and value of every stage of life, inspiring people around the world to appreciate the stories and contributions of the elderly. We have Jean Calment is at number 18, born on February 21, 1875, in Alls, France, holds the record for the oldest person ever, living to the age of 122 years and 164 days. Jean's life was characterized by her vibrant personality and unique lifestyle, which included a diet rich in olive oil, chocolate, and a daily glass of port wine. She remained active and mentally sharp until her final years, engaging in activities such as fencing and cycling well into her 100s. Jean outlived both her daughter and grandson, and her extraordinary longevity provided valuable insights into the factors contributing to a long and healthy life. Her story continues to fascinate and inspire researchers and the general public, offering a glimpse into the potential for human longevity and the impact of lifestyle choices on aging. Next we have Jairoman Kimura at 17th rank on our list, born on April 19, 1897, in Japan, was the oldest man ever recorded living to the age of 116 years and 54 days. Kimura's life spanned three centuries, during which he witnessed significant historical events and changes in Japan and the world. He worked as a postman for many years and continued to be active in his community long after his retirement. Kimura attributed his longevity to a simple and balanced diet, consisting of small portions and a variety of foods, and staying physically active. His long life and relatively good health in his later years provided valuable insights into the potential for longevity and the lifestyle factors that can contribute to a long and healthy life. Kane Tanaka holds 16th position in this video, born on January 2, 1903, in Japan, 
was recognized as the world's oldest living person until her death in 2022 at the age of 119. Tanaka's life was marked by resilience and a positive outlook, having lived through significant events such as both world wars, the 1918 influenza pandemic, and the post-war reconstruction of Japan. She spent her later years in a nursing home, where she enjoyed playing board games, solving arithmetic problems, and indulging in her favorite treat, chocolate. Tanaka's longevity was attributed to her active lifestyle and her optimistic attitude. She often expressed her love for life and her desire to live for many more years, providing inspiration and hope to people around the world. We have Gustav Jernath at number 15, who lived to the age of 114, was recognized as one of the world's oldest men before his death. Born in Germany, Jernath's life spanned numerous historical events, including both world wars and the division and reunification of Germany. He attributed his longevity to a healthy lifestyle, which included abstaining from alcohol and smoking, and a balanced diet. Jernath remained mentally and physically active well into his later years, enjoying activities such as gardening and spending time with his family. His life story serves as an example of the benefits of a healthy lifestyle and the potential for longevity. At number 14 we have, Freddie Blom, who claimed to have lived to the age of 116, was a South African man known for his extraordinary longevity. Blom attributed his long life to a combination of factors, including his love of tobacco and his ability to remain active and resilient through challenging times. He survived the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 and lived through apartheid in South Africa, maintaining a positive outlook and a sense of humor throughout his life. Blom's story highlights the diverse factors that can contribute to longevity and the importance of resilience and adaptability in achieving a long life. Dale Sanders is at number 13, known as the Greybeard Adventurer, set a world record by becoming the oldest person to paddle the entire length of the Mississippi River at the age of 87. His journey, which lasted 87 days, was completed in a 15-foot 6-inch canoe. Sanders' adventure is a testament to his physical endurance, indomitable spirit, and love for adventure. Throughout the journey, he faced numerous challenges, including navigating through rough waters and adverse weather conditions. Sanders' perseverance and determination saw him through to the end, making his accomplishment an inspiration to people of all ages. His story proves that age is no barrier to pursuing one's passions and achieving remarkable feats. Betty Godhart, who is at number 12, became the world's oldest performing flying trapeze artist at the age of 84. Performing regularly in San Diego, USA, Betty began her trapeze career at the age of 78, demonstrating that it is never too late to pursue new challenges and passions. Her remarkable agility and strength at such an advanced age are a testament to her dedication and love for the art of trapeze. Betty's performances are celebrated not only for their technical skill but also for the inspiration they provide to audiences, showing that age should never limit one's dreams and ambitions. Tal Porchon Lynch holds 11th rank on this list, at the age of 100, holds the record for the oldest competitive ballroom dancer. She began competing in ballroom dance competitions at the age of 87, demonstrating her lifelong passion for dance and physical fitness. In addition to her achievements in ballroom dancing, Tao was also a yoga master, having practiced yoga for over 70 years. Her dedication to an active lifestyle and her positive outlook on life were key factors in her longevity and continued success in competitive dance. Tao's story is an inspiration to many, highlighting the importance of staying active and pursuing one's passions regardless of age. Mark Sertich is at number 10, at the age of 96 years and 2 days, became the oldest ice hockey player when he participated in Snoopy's Senior World Hockey Tournament in Santa Rosa, California. Sertich had been playing ice hockey for around 85 years, showcasing his enduring love for the sport and his impressive physical fitness. Despite his age, he continued to play ice hockey weekly, demonstrating remarkable agility and stamina. Sertich's participation in the tournament and his ongoing involvement in the sport are a testament to the benefits of staying active and engaged in physical activities throughout life. Bryson William Verdun Hayes stands at number 9 on our list here, a British World War II veteran, set the record for the oldest tandem parachute jump at the age of 101 years and 38 days. 
Hayes performed the jump from a height of 15,000 feet, demonstrating his adventurous spirit and courage. His achievement is celebrated not only for the record it sets, but also for the inspiration it provides to people of all ages. Hayes' story highlights the importance of staying active and pursuing new challenges, regardless of age, and serves as a powerful reminder that it is never too late to try something new and exciting. At number 8 we have, Helen Antonucci, at the age of 81, is recognized as the world's oldest train driver. Working for the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority MBTA, Helen embarked on her career as a train operator relatively late in life at the age of 53. Her dedication and passion for her job have been unwavering throughout the years. Driving trains requires not only physical dexterity but also mental acuity and the ability to remain calm under pressure, attributes Helen has maintained admirably. Her long-standing career is a testament to her commitment and love for her work, serving as an inspiration to many that age is not a barrier to pursuing and excelling in one's chosen profession. Helen's journey in the male-dominated field of train operation highlights her determination and resilience, making her a role model for future generations of female train operators. At number 7, we have, John Starbrook, at the age of 87, became the oldest person to complete the London Marathon. Known for his incredible endurance and commitment to fitness, John has been an active marathon runner for many years. His participation in marathons is not only a personal achievement but also a means to raise funds for various charitable causes. Despite his advanced age, John maintains a rigorous training regimen, running several miles each week and adhering to a balanced diet. His story is a powerful reminder that with determination and perseverance, one can achieve remarkable physical feats at any age. John's marathons are celebrated for their inspirational impact, encouraging older individuals to stay active and pursue their fitness goals. At sixth number we have, Johanna Quas, born on November 20, 1925, in Germany, holds the record for the oldest active gymnast. Johanna began her gymnastics career in her 30s and has continued to compete well into her 90s. Her impressive routines on the parallel bars and floor exercises demonstrate a level of agility and strength that defies her age. Johanna attributes her longevity and physical fitness to a disciplined lifestyle that includes regular exercise, a healthy diet, and a positive mindset. Her performances are not only technically skilled but also incredibly inspiring, showing that age is no barrier to pursuing one's passion. Johanna's dedication to gymnastics and her ability to perform complex maneuvers have earned her admiration from around the world. Ernestine Shepard is the fifth oldest world record holder, who was born on June 16, 1936, is recognized as the world's oldest competitive female bodybuilder. Starting her fitness journey in her late 50s, Ernestine has become a symbol of strength and perseverance. She follows a rigorous training regimen, which includes weightlifting, cardio exercises, and a strict diet. Ernestine's day begins early, often with a 10-mile run, followed by intensive workouts. Her remarkable physique and energy level are a testament to the benefits of a healthy lifestyle and consistent physical activity. Ernestine's story challenges conventional perceptions of aging and inspires individuals of all ages to prioritize their health and fitness. At fourth position we have, Yuichiro Miura, born on October 12, 1932, is a Japanese alpinist who became the oldest person to climb Mount Everest at the age of 80. Miura's ascent of the world's highest peak is a testament to his incredible physical and mental endurance. Known for his adventurous spirit, Miura has a history of undertaking challenging feats, including skiing down Everest South Colonel. His preparation for climbing Everest involved rigorous training, including mountain climbing, skiing, and long-distance trekking. Miura's accomplishment is celebrated not only for its physical demands but also for the inspiration it provides to adventurers and athletes worldwide. His determination to push the boundaries of human capability and age-related limits highlights the potential for extraordinary achievements regardless of age. Robert Marchand holds the third position, born on November 26, 1911, in France, is the oldest cyclist to set a world record. At the age of 105, Robert set the record for the farthest distance cycled in one hour in the over 105 age category, covering 22.547 kilometers, 14.01 miles. 
A lifelong cyclist, Marshawn's dedication to the sport and his rigorous training regimen allowed him to achieve this remarkable feat he has competed in numerous cycling events throughout his life and has always promoted the benefits of cycling for health and well-being. His achievements in cycling are a powerful testament to the potential for maintaining physical fitness and pursuing athletic goals well into one's senior years. Gladys Barrill is at the second position on our list of records, known as the Gladiator, completed the Honolulu Marathon at the age of 92, making her the oldest female marathon finisher. Gladys began running marathons in her late 80s, inspired by her adventurous spirit and a desire to stay active. Her participation in marathons is not only a personal achievement but also serves as an inspiration to others to pursue their fitness goals regardless of age. Gladys's dedication to running and her ability to complete such grueling events highlight the importance of perseverance, a positive mindset, and a commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Her story encourages people to break age-related stereotypes and pursue their passions with vigor and determination. At the first position we have, Bernie Ecclestone, born on October 28, 1930, is a British business magnate and former chief executive of the Formula One Group. At the age of 89, he became the oldest person to have a child when his son, Ace, was born in 2020. Ecclestone's late fatherhood has attracted significant media attention and sparked discussions about the possibilities and implications of becoming a parent at an advanced age. Despite his age, Bernie has expressed immense joy and enthusiasm about his role as a father, embracing the responsibilities and experiences that come with raising a young child. His story highlights the evolving nature of family dynamics and the diverse paths individuals can take in life, regardless of age. So that was the list guys, and these records are tremendously inspiring to the core for all of us, especially when we have become so habitual of complaining about everything in life, you just saw how well these oldest record holders have carried themselves despite the hardships. Give us your thoughts in the comments section and make sure to share and like this video, and subscribe to our channel.